first that breaking news, at least seven people have been killed and 20 injured in a shooting at an army base in Texas, according to U.S. media reports this morning. It's not yet clear whether the victims are civilians or military personnel. Well, one person we hear has been arrested in connection with the incident. Cedric Moon in our Washington studios across this story tonight. Cedric, details still coming in as we know. What more can you tell us this morning? Well, Kevin, uh, we're still kind of getting the information like you over there in Moscow are. Uh, what we're also hearing that is that uh, there might be another shooter involved, and that person uh, may have been uh, taken into custody by police. Um, joining me right now over the phone, however, is Hillary Shine, who is a public information officer for the city of Killeen, Texas, which is right next to Fort Hood, considered to be the largest U.S. Arm US military base in the entire world. Uh, Ms. Shine, do you hear me? Ms. Shine? Yes, I'm sorry. I can. I, you're breaking up. I'm. I'm not hearing you clearly. Okay, Ms. Shine. So what we know if, so far right now is that seven people have been killed, uh, at least 12 more injured. Can you give us any more details besides that? We are actually hearing 20 wounded confirmed. Okay, 20 wounded confirmed. Okay, what? If, uh, anything besides just the 20, uh, just the people who are injured and the ones who are who have been killed? Um, we have seven confirmed dead, 20 confirmed wounded, and at this point, there are believed to be three suspects. Okay, three suspects. What is what is the city of Colleen doing right now in response to the shootings over at Fort Hood? I I'm sorry, I couldn't hear your question. What is the city of Colleen? Uh, the city of Colleen. What is it doing in response to the shootings over at Fort at Fort Hood? Hello, Ms. Shine? Ms. Shine? Um, I'm going to go ahead and, excuse me here, I'm going to go ahead and, and just go over to Ivan Elin, who is the uh, senior fellow at the Independent Institute. Um, we are just getting information as it's kind of rolling out. Uh, your first impression so far? Well, I think that since there's more than one shooter involved, it seems at this point, although uh, I guess we don't know that for sure, but if there is, of course, it's an organized plot rather than a military person coming back from overseas and might, may have mental problems. That's usually what you think about when, when something like this happens. But if there's more than one shooter, clearly there's some sort of a conspiracy. What their goal is at this point is unclear, and why they hit the military base is also unclear. Okay, so you'd, you'd want to find out exactly what the, what the motivation for all this is. You'd probably also want to know uh, who, uh, who was involved and, and what their background right, was. Right, exactly. I mean, are they domestic people? Are they disgruntled former army people? Are they al-Qaeda terrorists? Or are they other types of terrorists? Or are they some group that uh, has environmental problems with the base? Who knows? It could be any, anybody at this point. Uh, of course, people always, uh, after 9-11, people are always wondering immediately here in the United States if it's al-Qaeda. But of course, you know, we can't say that at this point. Okay. It seems as if uh, Fort Hood has seen violence in other forms before. Uh, it seems like a couple other military installations have seen violence on their on their installations before too. Uh, can you speak on that a little bit? I mean, what uh, what exactly uh, has happened? What has transpired at Fort Hood and in and, and the other military installations? Well, I can't speak uh, specifically to Fort Hood, but sometimes you have the syndrome of uh, this happened in Fort Bragg, which is the special forces, uh, uh, or I mean, excuse me, the uh, 82nd Airborne. Uh, uh, headquarters, and they had people coming back there from war, and of course war is a, is a breakdown of social norms, and they sort of transfer that violence. When you have soldiers coming back, that any, you know, not anything goes on the battlefield, but certainly you have to shoot people, and it's not like a regular sedate society at peace. So these people bring different norms back, and they have to reintegrate themselves, and sometimes you have problems uh, with that, but of course uh, those are usually uh, single people uh, that, that are doing that. They have mental instability because of the wartime uh, service and that sort of thing. Uh, at this point, it doesn't sound like that. At this point also, we just I want to clarify that uh, we don't exactly know who uh, the uh, the attackers are. Right. So at this point, we're just kind of going down this path where, we, where we're thinking or just kind of guessing on what their motivations are. Right. Um, you had said that... Uh, they come back, single individuals come back, and they go ahead and, and have this kind of change, I guess a culture shock, to, to put it in terms. Um, what's the mindset behind that, if, if that is the case in this, in this incident? 
Well, there's not a mindset. It's just that uh, they may have domestic problems. They're sort of mentally unstable because of the war, and they just don't realize that they have to go back into a peacetime society that's much different than when they're at wartime. Uh, and so this, is, this leads to the breakdown of social norms in, in their own conduct. And uh, this has happened uh, uh, several times uh, in, recent, in the recent past. The other thing that's interesting about this uh, incident is the large number of people that appear to be killed and wounded. Uh, that also, I mean, a single shooter can do something like that. Uh, but in a military base, you know, this is not a school or some, some place. Uh, there's guns around, and there's people who know how to use them. So if you're going to uh, attack some things, this may be a professional job. I don't know. It's hard to say. But I, it's just worth noting that there's been a lot of people killed and wounded by seemingly three people, which it means that it could be an organized uh, attack. Okay. I'm, I'm hearing also that now we have Hillary Schein back again, who is the uh, public information officer for the city of Colleen, Texas. Ms. Schein, do you hear me? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, hopefully the connection this time is better. I was asking you the question earlier about what the city of Colleen is doing in response to these shootings. Okay. We, um, what we're doing is whatever Fort Hood needs of us, which at this point is they have requested ambulance assistance. They have requested our SWAT team, and they have requested our police officers to control traffic. Obviously, when you have a, a military installation that's as large as Fort Hood is, um, and you close it to in and out traffic, that causes all sorts of problems with people trying to get on and off. And so our police are, um, are dealing with traffic outside of the fort at this point, um, but the ambulances are responding to, to uh, victims. Okay. What have you guys done for your community, however? Um, I mean, has, has there been, have there been lockouts that have been instituted all across the city? Can you kind of speak on that for me a little bit? Um, actually, our children were let out in an early out today. So there have not been, there has not been a lockdown in our schools. But um, we do have a college that's nearby, CTC, Central Texas College, that is on a lockdown. It's, it's actually rather near Fort Hood. Um, and then other school districts in surrounding communities are also reporting lockdowns. Okay, Ms. Shine, have you heard anything about the profile of these shooters so far? No. The only thing that we've heard is that um, they're believed to have been wearing military uniforms. Now, whether or not that means they were soldiers or not, I would hate to guess. Um, but but there is no description, no age. I, I haven't received any sort of information about who these people might be. Okay. I'm also guessing that if Fort Hood is so close to the city of Colleen, Texas, and being that it's a huge uh, army installation, that uh, it's probably a large employer of the people within the city of Colleen. Absolutely. You know, Fort Hood is more than just our neighbor. It's, it's our family. It's our friends. So many of us have relatives that work for the military or work on the installation as civilian contractors. It is, it's a massive place with a daytime population similar to, you know, to what Killeen has. So maybe 80,000 people during the day. Um, so, and it's a mixture of people. There are also schools on Fort Hood where children go to school and, and hopefully those schools, the children had, had been released, um, home by the time that this occurred. Um, but, but it's much like its own city. Okay. Um, what, I mean, describe to us also what the, what the, what the feeling and the sentiment out in the city of Colleen uh, is now that uh, this, uh, this story has broken. Well, obviously it is one of um, just I extreme emotion, um, confusion, because the, the facts are always too slow in coming. Um, and those of us that have lived here for a long period of time, like myself, um, remember Luby's, another mass casualty incident that happened back in 1991. Um, I was a student at the time and remember being in lockdown in my classroom. Okay. Um, so a lot of us uh, obviously are having flashbacks to that. Okay, this, Michelin. of course, being Michelin. our military, our friends, our family, um, and not knowing the details at this point is it, just gut-wrenching. Absolutely, Michelle. Thank you so much for joining us. You're thank welcome. You, thank you to you, Mr. Mr. Elin, for joining us, too, on this uh, breaking news. Kevin, for now, we're going to go ahead and send it back to you. Yeah, just reminding our viewers of the breaking news, this developing story tonight uh, within the last half hour or so uh, that we're getting news of seven people killed, 20 others injured in the shooting at Fort Hood uh, base in Texas. The Army has confirmed that. SWAT teams, FBI teams reported to be swarming over the area. Uh, one person's been arrested, uh, we think, at least one more person is reported to be on the loose tonight. The base, as you were saying there, uh, Cedric, on a lockdown. Fort Hood located near the town of Killeen, and you've just been hearing firsthand uh, what the people there think about. A lot of worried people tonight. We're across this story with your help. Best people to keep us up to Absolutely. date. Uh